Sneaking, eh? Hey, hit this. Hey. Where'd you get them gloves? Steal them. Mum, we stole Jack Brown from. Ah, you mean stole them, eh? He told you I bought them, OK? That's the truth. I pawned something for them. That's all you need to know. Well, that's all right. Don't get too serious. You with your dad. Father's dead. What's your name? My name's Jack. Jack Lewis. Jack Lewis, eh? Gentleman Jack Lewis. That a good boxing name? Huh? Yeah. And you, what's your name, son? Willie, Mr. That's my name. Willie, eh? Willie the kid. Yeah, is that for a boxing name? What? Eh? I tell you what. You come and see me here. You don't see no one else here in this gym. You come and see me, Tony, all right? And you won't have to sneak in anymore, all right? Hey, hey, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough now. Hey. Take on one of these boys here. Come on, you fellas. Show those ladies that you're real fighting men, eh? Come on, roll up, roll up. Who's gonna put on a glove? A pound or two for a round or two. Come on, who's gonna dare take on one of these darky boys here, eh? Come on, step up, have a go. Come on, roll up, roll up. Do a round with the shaman boys. In fact, let me introduce the lads to you. First off, we have the Red Bomber. Have a look at that. I reach a mile long. Have a go at the Red Bomber. Next to him, we have Dickie Blair. Dickie Bird Blair. Look at the speed of that boy. Who dares have a go with Dickie Blair? In the centre, we have Darkie Rose. Have a look at Darkie. The wild man from the bush doesn't know where he's come from, doesn't know where he's going. And step forward, Muckold McGee, the mad Irishman with killer speed and a lightning left. And leaving the best looking to last, we have gentleman Jack Paul Lewis, the ladies' man. Come on, step up, step up, go into the ring, do a round with Gentleman Jack. See if you can reorganise that pretty little face for him, eh? Come on, roll up, roll up, pay your money, the old Chinaman down there, Mr. Key. Roll up, roll up. Oh, that was a show and a half, eh, Will? Jackie boy, it's a long way for you since the Sydney show, eh? Yeah, that's right. Fourteen when I joined up. Told the boss I was 18. Learned to fight in an old gym around the corner from Redfern. Remember the old gym, Willie? Yeah, you remember Tony? Yeah, how could I forget? Remember he tried to accuse me of stealing those gloves? But you didn't. Steal them? Nah, of course not. But I did steal that radio I pawned to get the gloves. <laughs> 
You ever miss home, hey? Nah. This is home now. At least till I get my big break. And the way I've been fighting, that's only just around the corner. Mr. Sharman, John Eden, he keeps you on, you know, because of your beautiful looks. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's exactly right. And these beautiful looks have got me a nice little cowgirl at the moment. You know the one, Willie. She hangs around that big bloke who does the rape tricks. Yeah, well, that big bloke's her old man. And if he finds out a black fella like you is seeing his daughter, he's going to use that rape and hang you from the nearest tree. Uh -huh. That ain't going to happen. I'm too damn smart for that. Gentleman Jack Lewis, the middleweight champion of the world. There's a whole lot of women out there who want to meet me. I certainly don't want to deprive them of that honour. Yeah, well, some big city promoter's going to find you, Jack. He's going to give you a fight at the Sydney Stadium for a title. Yeah. I'll fight that Sugar Ray Robertson, and I'll knock him down. Gentleman Jack Lewis, the middleweight champion of the world. Hey, boys. Boys, come here. Hey. I'm Artie Roberts. I'm spotting fighters for a Sydney trainer called Snowy Sullivan. You might have heard of me. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard of Snowy. I reckon you've got potential, son. What do you say I set up an exhibition at Sydney Stadium? Me? You sure you're talking to the right bloke? You sure you don't mean Jack? Yeah. Sure you don't mean me? I mean you, son. Like I said, I've been watching you. Hey, you're not a bad fighter, Jack. Here, i tell you what. Why don't I set up that exhibition between you and Willie? But I've got to tell you, Snowy's looking for a certain type of fighter. I'm the better fighter. Everyone knows it. I'm the one with all the talent. This ain't fair. Just hang on. Listen, Willie. The UABOs make pretty good boxers. But I see something special in you. Raw talent. I reckon under Snowy, you could turn that raw talent into a New South Wales, possibly national title. Well, the white title, how do you reckon? Ah, oh, gee, uh, I'll be there for sure. Yeah? I'll come. You're joking, right, aren't you? Wait. Hey, hey, <laughs> save that for the exhibition. Oh, what, are you still here? Go over and tell the boss to make up your wages. Yeah. There you go. Look, this ain't fair. I've hey. got the speed and the skill. Hey. Listen, we're talking about the professional circuit here. There's big money involved and even bigger, badder players. Snowy's looking for a certain type of fighter. I don't think you're it. But here's a fiver to keep you interested. What if I knock that bum out? Who knows what's going to happen on the night? All righty, mate. Yeah? It still ain't fair, though. Hey, Jack, boxing ain't fair, son. Am I going to see you in Sydney? Oh, yeah. You'll see gentlemen Jack in Sydney. Don't worry about that. 